Hey guys, it's Bait, bringing you a quick tutorial on how to install Crewlink, better known as Proximity Chat, for your Among Us gameplay. It's very simple. Um, before we begin, if you're looking for a place to play some competitive games of Among Us, please check out the links below for the Among Us competitive Discord server, as well as the Among Us competitive subreddit, where you can discuss all your game theories and share video gameplay and much more. To begin with, you want to go to the website. Um, again, the link to the Automed Crew link is in the description. And simply just check what the latest release is. Um, here it's 2.0.1, released 18 days ago or in early 2021. Um, there's information about installation, but to be honest, it's very simple. What you want to do is click on the latest release and then um, click on 2.0.1.exe and it should start downloading. As you can see, I've downloaded it before. Once you finish downloading, feel free to move it onto your desktop and basically double click and open it. And you should see a crew link set up um, folder open. And after that happens, you should have crewlink 2.0.1. It says waiting for Among Us. You can click open game and it'll open it for you. And um, alternatively, you can click on the shortcut. You don't actually have to open it through the game itself. Normally you don't actually see the crew link when you're in the game um, and full screened. It'll usually look like this. Uh, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'll just put it as an overlay here. Uh, to use it, it's very simple. Either host or join a game, and it will automatically detect the lobby code. Uh, so for example, here it's uh, Foxshot, Yankee, Papa, Delta, Delta, Foxshot. And in Crew Link, it also says FYPDDF. And any other player that joins will automatically uh, populate this area here with all the other players. Um, if you want to check out the settings, there are a few simple ones. Um, by default, all of these are ticked. So imposters here dead people so you can taunt or you know say things to imposters if you're dead um, again option to turn that on and off here imposters in vents um, so as an imposter make sure you don't talk if you're in an event because other people might hear you and one of my favorites is com sabotages um the voice system which makes a lot of sense in terms of flavor um, you can change your default microphone and your default speaker to whatever you like as well as change it to voice activity and push to talk. And the keyboard shortcuts note don't actually work if you're in the um, crew link itself, but if you're in the game, for example, and you hold V or um, right alt or left control, that's when it will work. And there's a cool overlay function. You can change the location of the overlay. So in meetings, it will pop up with who's talking, um, which I find very helpful, sort of like the Discord overlay, but much cooler. Um, as well as advanced options such as show the lobby code, which I prefer having, and enable spatial audio. Um, there's also an advanced option, which is to change the voice server, but I would recommend leaving this um, unchanged because the native server works pretty well uh, from my experience, even in 2021. Uh, the only other thing to note is if you run into any issues, you need to alt tab into here and press control R to refresh like this. Um, and the other thing to remember is if you don't actually open crew link before you start the game, um, it won't work because that's the only time the crew link software can actually detect the lobby code. There's no way to manually input it at this stage, unfortunately. Hope you found this guide useful and uh, look forward to seeing you in the games. Best of luck.